What's up everybody? I'll get straight to the point of this video. There's a new epidemic spread in our world today like crazy that's affecting people of all ages, of all races, of all backgrounds, of all religious beliefs and even no religious beliefs. People are developing sexual dysfunctions caused by today's high speed internet porn. And I know some of y'all just said, yeah right, or I've watched porn for years and I'm just fine brah. Well if that's you, or even if it's not, please stick around for the rest of this video as I share my story and history with porn and how it affected me personally. And I'm also going to get in some of the brain science of how porn's affecting us and how it can cause tons of sexual dysfunctions. So yeah, story time. My name's Gabe, I just turned 26 years old. Growing up I had loving friends and family and just a really good support system. I never had any traumatic experience happen to me and there was no history of addiction in my family. I was just a kid that loved life. I loved music and sports and hanging out with friends and family and just having fun. But around the age of eight I was walking around my neighborhood and I found my first Playboy magazine. I still remember seeing that image of a naked girl for the first time and being completely captivated, mind blown by it. And immediately my new obsession and idol was sex. I wasn't a dumb kid, well, that's debatable. But I knew about masturbation and right then at the age of eight I started whacking it to pictures. Two years passed, my family got cable TV, so that meant, you know, I could stay up late at night watching MTV and BET booty shaking videos and also like HBO softcore porn. And there was also this really creepy uh, talk show with some old lady talking about sex positions and all sorts of crazy stuff. As a 10 year old I was like, excellent. And my parents had no clue, you know, they would come in my room, make sure I was asleep and I would do the fake out and as soon as they left I was up again turning on the TV staying up till 3 or 4 in the morning. And fast forward two years, my family got high speed internet. And this is when things got bad real quick. And it wasn't that big of a deal. All the kids at school were talking about it. We'd exchange pieces of paper with websites of where we could get free porn and how to hide it from our parents. Sex and pornography were just, was becoming part of our culture, even, in, even as a middle school kid, a teenager. So I continued to watch porn all through middle school, pretty much seeing everything there is to see in porn land. And I also became sexually active in eighth grade and I immediately began to treat girls as sex objects. Things continued through high school and the high school that I went to was actually one of the first schools in the world where all the students were issued their own laptops. One of the first things the guys did was figure out how to play video games. The second thing was figure out how to get around the block so we could watch porn. You had the scenario where you know the teacher is teaching up front in class and I'm in the back with my friends watching porn in class. I wish I could go back and just slap myself in the face. So you know continued watching porn and having sex through the end of high school and into college. People that know me know that I'm usually real outgoing and motivated to do things. But that all began to change. Um, my motivation to be successful, to grow up, get a good job, get married, have a family all began to go down. and. Really I had just no, I had no drive for life and no drive to be successful. But that didn't catch my attention. Something else caught my attention. I began to notice that it was getting more difficult to get turned on by girls in real life. Ultimately leading to a time where I went to have sex with a gorgeous girl and I could not get turned on at all. I knew I wasn't nervous and I didn't have any performance anxiety and I knew it wasn't alcohol because I hadn't drank anything. I just simply couldn't get turned on no matter what we tried and despite the fact I was really attracted to her and wanted to. So I freaked out. I was young and healthy and had no idea what was wrong with me. So I did what anyone would do and I went to Google. I remember typing in young guy boner problem and what I found completely blew my mind. I found forums where thousands of guys young and old were talking about how they had one problem. They couldn't get turned on to a girl that they were attracted to. But reading their stories, you know, there was one thing in common with all their stories, years of porn use. As I was reading, I saw a test to do to see if your erectile dysfunction was caused by porn. Step one was to see if you could get hard to your favorite porn, which I knew I could. Step two was see if you can get an erection to just touch alone. And I hadn't done this since I was like 14. So I ran to the bathroom and I tried it. I'm sitting there trying to get hard and I could not even get the slightest bit aroused. And I even tried using my imagination and still nothing worked. I decided then and there that I was done with porn for good. And I saw that guys can typically recover in a few months of no porn. 
But now I wanted to know how this happens, and I found a great website, yourbrainonporn.com. I found out I had rewired my brain to get turned on by porn and a screen, and I had become desensitized to normal sexual stimulation. So now, without making your brain explode, I'm going to get into some of the science behind what porn is doing to our brains and how it can cause these sexual dysfunctions like I had. Everyone has what is known as a reward circuit deep in our brains. Its job is to get us to do things that are pleasurable and good for survival and to avoid things that are painful and could cause death. Now everything we do and all the decisions we make affect this reward circuit. Whether you do something or not, you're either wiring or unwiring your brain for it. The reward circuit is the engine in our brain that drives us and a neurochemical called dopamine is the gas that makes it run. Dopamine is all about seeking and searching and it's behind our pursuit of sex and other rewards and long-term goals. The more dopamine that's produced in your brain, the more you want something. Sexual stimulation and orgasm provide the biggest natural blast of dopamine that your brain can get. If you continually engage in something rewarding or that releases a lot of dopamine, your brain also releases a molecule called Delta Fos B. Delta Fos B's job is to wire up your brain's pathways to make you want something basically forming a super memory of pleasure. In simple words, it makes you crave one thing over other things, raising the bar of what you want. This is one of the main brain changes that all addictions share and is known as sensitization. It is also a key part in porn-induced sexual dysfunctions because you're teaching your brain to get turned on by a screen and the need for novelty, shock, and surprise rather than a real woman. Okay, so to show y'all an illustration of what sensitization and the reward circuit look like, Let's take a look at my highly technologically advanced informational board. Okay, this is your brain. And this right here is your reward circuit. And since we're talking about sexual excitement, I'm going to stay focused on that. Alright, so whenever you're sexually excited, the heart of the reward circuit, the big green dot, known as the nucleus accumbens, sends a signal to the red dot, the hypothalamus, which then sends a signal down your spine, ultimately to your willy, giving you an erection. Now for older guys who have blood flow problems, their problem is in the penis, but for younger guys who've been watching a lot of porn, our problem's in the brain. All right, so let's look at what happens with sensitization. Remember, the more you do something, the deeper and stronger the pathway gets in your brain. So let's say this right here is a pathway for porn, and this right here is a neural pathway for a real woman. When a guy's watching porn a lot, his brain is wiring for porn and not a real woman. Also, the more shocking, surprising, or new something is, the more dopamine that's released. The more dopamine that's released in your reward circuit, the more Delta Fos B is released, ultimately leading to deeper and stronger pathways. Now, internet porn provides way more stimulation than a real girl because internet porn has a never-ending supply of new, shocking, and increasingly hardcore porn to watch. Over time, you eventually have a huge pathway or bacon strip in your brain and the pathway to the real woman just can't compete. Alright, now you have this new huge sensitized pathway in your brain for porn use that gets activated by any cues or thoughts or anything related to it. And now you have a reward circuit that doesn't get too aroused by a real partner but gets really aroused by porn use. Some guys can actually get an erection at first when going for sex with a real partner but lose it either trying to penetrate or during sex because they've trained their brain to need constant hits of dopamine that internet porn provides by clicking and clicking to a new video. Any type of porn you watch is sexually conditioning your brain to get turned on by it. Over time your sexual taste can change because as dopamine drops you want to get back to that same high so you click to something new, shocking, or more hardcore to get that same buzz. Whatever type of porn you're watching, you're wiring your brain for. So whether it's anal sex, or oral, or anything else that's fetish related, your brain's wiring for it when you're watching it. Now what's scary is teenage brains release way more dopamine and Delta Fos B and can wire more deeply and stronger than an adult brain. So the younger you start watching porn, the more deeply you're going to be wired for it, like I was. The good news is, if you avoid watching porn and any behavior that would reinforce those pathways, over time, they'll weaken and go away. Now to the second brain change that happens when you're watching internet porn. You become desensitized. Desensitization means you develop a numbed response to all pleasure. When dopamine's too high for too long in your reward circuit, 
there's a receptor called a D2 receptor that actually reduces in number and it becomes harder to hear dopamine's message to get excited. And when this happens, your ability to feel normal pleasure drops and you become numbed. Think of a gunshot going off in your ear. With too much noise, it becomes harder to hear normal sounds for a period of time. When you overstim your reward circuit with too much pleasure, it becomes harder to feel normal pleasure for a period of time. Once you're desensitized, you're going to crave more. And that sensitized pathway in your brain is the one thing that you think will give it to you. But in reality, that pathway is what led you to being numbed in the first place. And you start this cycle of craving more, experiencing more pleasure, and getting more numbed. Now the good news is, is your brain is highly changeable for your whole life. Those sensitized pathways can weaken as long as you avoid them and that desensitized reward circuit can regain its sensitivity over time. With patience, support, a willingness to go through a little bit of pain to get better, recovery is possible. Once I gave up porn, I had no idea how long my reboot would take, but I knew that porn had jacked up my ability to get turned on by a real girl and completely perverted my view of sexuality and how I lived selfishly really hit me hard. I had severe withdrawal of headaches, um, insomnia, anxiety attacks, and severe depression. But with months of patience and just knowing that I wasn't going back to porn, I was able to recover. My brain was wired really deep for porn because I started at such a young age. It took me around nine months to recover, and I continued to see improvement for many months after that. I can say that today without porn in my life, I'm more confident, more focused, I can concentrate better, um, I have more energy, more motivation, and overall my life is way more full of joy than it was with porn. I just want to encourage everyone watching this video to trust me as a guy who's watched a lot of porn that it will never satisfy you and it will only jack up your brain. You never know how it's affecting you so just give it up and see what happens. So yeah, to wrap this video up, this was a real simplified version of what happens when our brains when we watch porn and a little brief synopsis of my story. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to post them. And also, please share this video. You never know who it might help or who needs to hear this. And to everyone that's out there rebooting, just know that our brains can change our entire lifetime. So as long as there's tomorrow, there's still hope. For more information on the brain science, check out yourbrainonporn.com. Gary Wilson did a great job with all the science behind this. And um, all the research and sources are going to be cited on his site. Or visit a forum for support where there's thousands of guys and girls talking about recovery and giving advice like a great website is uh, yourbrainrebalance.com or you could go over to reddit.com slash r slash nofap and if you or a loved one want advice on quitting porn and rebooting your brain you can check out my advice video titled porn induced ed reboot advice and I think that's about it so yeah much love bye